When I got ready to put this motor on this mill lathe combination, I thought it would be a straightforward process. Uh, turns out there's more wires in this motor than there was in the other motor. Uh, and I'm not an electrician, so I started hunting on the internet trying to find a little help with how to connect it up to the switch so I could get forward and reverse out of the motor. Um, easy enough to wire them up to run one way, easy enough to wire them up to run the other way, but then when you try to get forward and reverse, this originally had four wires. I came out needing six. We'll go into more detail on that. Uh, first thing I want to say is if you're uncomfortable or unfamiliar with anything to do with electricity, get somebody to help you out. Um, before you work on it, unplug it, turn off the power, unplug it, turn off the power, and unplug it again, and double check to make sure that you've turned off the power and unplugged it. Uh, electricity can kill you. It's a one horse capacitor start motor. If it accidentally takes off and your fingers in the way, it'll tear your fingers right off. Electricity is dangerous. Be careful, and uh, hopefully this helps somebody out. Like I said, power off, power off, power off. Don't get close to it with power on. And if you're uncomfortable doing it, get somebody who's comfortable to do it for you or to help you with it. All right, this is how to wire a one horsepower farm duty electric motor from Harbor Freight so it can run both forward and reverse. That's the wiring hooked up. Um, this is on a Shopmaster lathe. I had to replace the motor on it. Forward reverse switch, I believe pretty much all of them will be about the same. But this is what I have for ohming it out, forward and reverse. Uh, reverse button check, pressed. This is where the contacts connect. Forward button pressed. These two switch. These two power both sides every time. As you can see on my motor, I have an additional wire added. Somehow or another, they had ran the motor they had that was originally on it with uh, only four wires. I couldn't figure out how to do it with four. I ended up doing it with six. The electric motor comes with a clockwise, counterclockwise wiring diagram. Can be wired either for 115 or 230 volt. I'm running 115 volt. Five and eight are basically your reversing wires. If you'll notice eights here connected with T2 and T4. When it switches direction, eight is over here connected with P2 and T3. I'm not an electrician. It took me a minute to figure out how I was gonna do that with a switch. So this is the contacts, same direction. This is how I wired them up. There's a single wire running from P2 and T3 and the T2 and T4. A single wire runs from the switch box up to the motor box and that's where the multiple wires connect in. That way I don't have to run two wires all the way down to the switch. So what you end up with is because of the wiring diagram the way it is, the wiring in the motor the way it is, T8 has to be put with P2 and P3 to go one direction to go the other direction, T5 has to be put with P2 and T3. T8's powered. 
when it goes the other direction T5 is powered um, I ran my power I'm calling my power wire line too I ran it into the box here ran a jumper here ran a jumper here into the switch sorry about that into the switch in the center and ran a jumper across to get power here and here so basically when you put it in reverse it connects these two and it connects these two and it powers T2 and T4 when you put it in forward T2 and T4 have to be powered also so this it stays powered you're basically just switching T8 and T5 to either be powered or to be hooked in with P2 and T3 it's simple for an electrician complicated for the rest of us um, I've already got the cover on the back of the switch but like I said basically these are just the screws on each one of the posts on the on a reversing switch most of them are the same uh, this switch happens to be a Japanese made switch if you look it up on the internet You can look it up under switch LAP 15 slash 2 and it'll come up with a switch just like that except for the all the ones I found the writing was not in English it was in Japanese but I didn't really look to buy a switch because I already had the switch So I'm going to pop this camera off here. It's going to get a little shaky. Like I said, the wiring di the diagram you see on the notepad right here, there's nine screws in the back of that switch. And that's what those nine screws are, and that's where the power corresponds. Like I said, I'm videoing this and saying all this stuff for somebody who probably doesn't know a whole lot about motors. This isn't for an electrician. Electrician figured this out way faster than I did. So, like I said, um, T5 and T8 are the two reversing wires. They come all the way up by themselves, and they wire into a single wire right here. This is T8, and this is T5, and they run just into a single wire, each wire nut. The other two, the connection that goes to T2 and T4, they wire in together with a wire nut, and they go down with a single wire to the switch at the terminal as it was indicated on the diagram. And the same thing with uh, P2 and T3. Then all you need <clears throat> is your neutral wire running to P1 and a ground wire running to the ground. Follow that back into the cabinet. That's the orange going all the way down and it goes straight into the neutral wire to the plug and the ground wire coming out of the plug is the ground wire going into the orange ground in the motor uh, this didn't even have a ground wire on it when I took it apart I don't know how they grounded the motor but it's kind of an important thing to ground the motor but so that wired up the way it is Gives you, oh, help if I plug it in. That wired in the way it is gives you reverse.
And that's how to wire a Harbor Freight electric motor for forward and reverse. For somebody who doesn't know how to do it, for somebody who's not an electrician. If you're an electrician, you're probably chuckling to yourself saying, wow, oversimplification, but I know a little bit about electricity, but I'm not an electrician by any means. Oh, and there'll be more to come on this refugee from a wrecking yard. Shopmaster, El Dorado Lathe Mill.